This is GMS South Holland coming back to you through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai by Shem Rokakadash. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone, peace and salutations to the elect out there for spreading this word as the city and the truth all over the four corners of the earth. Gone. Um, real quick, man, quick hit concerning uh, Proverbs chapter 5. Okay, it does go deeper. Okay, starting at verse 1. But. Uh, Lord willing, I can go in that full depth um, with the brother Tazawa from Germany um, when we see fit. But for now, I just want to tap into, you know, verse 18 to 20, okay, which speaks about um, the wife of Dayut, which the wife of Dayut is this truth, man. You got to cling on to her. You got to love her. You, you ain't supposed to focus on no strange woman. Okay, you ain't supposed to be distracted by all the bullshit, you know, all the bullshit religions, man. Okay, because they lead unto death, which that's what it says in the first couple of verses. Okay, so this is Proverbs chapter 5, verse 18. Let thy fountain be blessed. Okay, the fountain is this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, that which is given unto us. Okay, when we were in Mount Sinai. The Most High gave us these laws, the commandments. The Most High gave us the knowledge through the Spirit. Okay? Let thy fountain be blessed. This truth. Okay? Because when you go up, it says that, um, verse 15, Proverbs 5 and 15, Drink waters out of thine own cistern, and running waters out of thine own well. So you need to come to the knowledge of your own belief, your own your own religion, so to speak. Okay, because the word religion goes into to being bound to something. Now we are bound unto Yahweh Bashim Yashai. Okay, we are bound to Yahweh Bashim Yashai to a contract. Okay, which is established with our forefathers Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Okay, we get circumcised. Okay, which is a blood covenant that we make with Yahweh Bashim Yashai on the eighth day when we are but a babe. You understand? So we are connected with the Lord, man. We connected with the Heavenly Father. So we're supposed to cling on to our own beliefs, on uh, onto our own um, power, man. So and the word cistern, by the way. So it says, drink waters out of thine own cistern, and running waters out of thine own well, which means uh, a cistern is like a water fountain. Cistern is a water fountain that you got to drink out of. Okay? That you can't drink out of. So, it says again, verse 18, Let thy fountain be blessed and rejoice with the wife of thy youth. Let her be as the loving hand and pleasant robe. Let her breast satisfy thee at all times. And be thou ravished always by her with her love. So your first, your first love, man, your first wife. Okay, the intense feeling that you had towards her. Remember, if you tap back into the uh, into the old days of old, man, the first woman that you really felt an intense love with or for, you wanted to you wanted to deal with her every day, every every hour of the day, man, every minute. She was so intensely in love with her. Okay? And she with you. Because, hey, if it's uh, it, if it goes both ways, it's even more intense, more powerful. So this truth wants us to, to, to deal with it through the spirit. And the spirit wants to deal with us. Okay? Like it says in um, Sirach. I think it's Sirach 5. Let me see. Uh, Sirach 4, I think. Yep, Sirach 4. <clears throat> First, uh, let me see. 17. And this is talking about the spirit, the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding that is going to come upon you through the spirit. It's going to try you, man. Okay? For first, she will walk with you 
a slack at first she will walk with him by crooked ways and bring fear and dread upon him and torment him with her discipline until she may trust his soul and try him by her laws then will she turn return the straight way unto him and comfort him and show him her secrets so this truth is desirable unto us and we are desirable unto this truth this truth wants to cling unto the, the holy people man this truth wants to cling unto the elect okay wisdom is is uh, it's open unto us to receive that's why we got to be prudent man <clears throat> like it says uh, uh where is that again um uh let me see where out Bear with me for a moment. Yeah, leave it. I, I don't know. Uh, I don't know where it is right now. But roughly paraphrasing, you gotta wear out the steps of him that is wise, man. And if thou wilt, thou shalt be taught. If thou wilt, thou shalt be taught. You understand? So it's a spirit of a uh, uh, desiring. You should, you're supposed to have this desire towards this truth. And when you have this desire towards this truth, this truth will have this desire towards you. Because then you're going to be prudent. Okay? If thou wilt, thou shalt be taught. And then you will become prudent. Okay? So you got to have this intense love towards this truth, man, in order to become better in it, better towards Jehovah, Hashem, Yahushua, more righteous, more upright. You understand? Proverbs chapter 5, verse, uh, verse 20. And why wilt thou, my son, be ravished with a strange woman and embrace the bosom of a stranger? You understand? Why would you go into other man's ways, man? Now, this goes for a lot of Israelites out there in the world, man. Some turn to Islam. Some still stuck with Christianity. Then you have whole pages full of atheism. Jake, black atheism, they call it. It's terrible, man. Black atheism. Like, you know, I already have in my mind, like, my, probably most likely, uh, probably most of them is uh, are theirs, man. Jake has this faith in him. Jake has this belief, this zeal towards the most high in him, but not according to knowledge. Okay? That's why the Heavenly Father sends the servants, the prophets, to bring back this knowledge to them. And tell them to drink out of their own cistern. Okay? Let me see if I can pull up Isaiah. Uh, yeah. This is... Um, no, this ain't it. Um... Yeah, this is this is um, Isaiah 41, verse 17. When the poor and needy seek water, and there is none, and their tongue faileth for thirst, I Yahweh will hear them. I, the power of Israel, will not forsake them. You see, so the fountain, the fountain of water, okay, the 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 the, the cistern. Of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, which is full of water, is gonna quench the thirst of those that are thirsty, man. Of those that are poor and needy. You understand? Which is Israel. So this truth is the water. Or the water is this truth. You understand? That's why it speaks about the thirst over here. But our people are thirsty for an, an, other cisterns. 
okay they want to drink out of broken cisterns okay cisterns that hold no water which is these philosophies these other religions okay i will open i will open rivers in high places and fountains in the midst of the valleys i will make the wilderness a pool of water and the dry land springs of water i will plant in the wilderness the cedar the shitta tree and the myrtle tree and the oil tree and i will set them in the desert and it will set in the desert the fir tree and the pine and the box tree together that they may see and know and consider and understand together that the hand of Yahweh had done this and the Holy One of Israel had created it which this represents the the, the trees that are being planted in these dry places are um, are the prophets man these are the servants the prophets that are being planted in these dry places where the water is gonna flow through man okay the water is flowing through because Yahweh Shemiah Shai's spirit is upon these prophets that are set up in all these places man Canada Alaska okay New York Los Angeles Seattle San Francisco Suriname Guyana Mexico Bolivia Peru Aru um I want to say Aruba but no we've been teaching there but um, um Holland Germany okay England so in all these places the spirit is established Tanzania Australia okay all these trees are planted through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yashai, that they may know and understand, that they may um, comprehend this truth, so to speak. Okay. So yeah, man. With that, I hope this lesson was edifying. Okay. Stick to the truth, uh, to the wife of that youth. That's really the lesson, man. Stick to the wife of that youth. So with that, I want to give all praises, glory, and the highest honor to Yahweh Hashem Yashai. Bashan Kakadash, shalom to the elect.